you're here with me, I'm Alan. Hello. Today we are going to show you how to make a hot dog wrap. A hot dog wrap? Hot dog wrap. Hot, hot dog. dog. Hot dog. What's one of them? Well, I was just going to say, you might think, what's one of them? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. You might. Oh. Well, we created this when um, we fancy hot dogs, but, created yeah. them. Yeah. But, wanted to do something just a bit different. So, this is what we came up with. Yeah. Hot dog wrap. Hot dog wrap. And you'll see it evolve when we start cooking and all will be revealed. But, let's go down to the ingredients. Ooh. Ooh. Ew. So, here we are with the ingredients. Now, we say hot dogs, but they are actually bock first, which is just a sort of German hot dog. They're really nice. I like frankfurters. Really tasty. You can use frankfurters. You can use hot dogs. Yeah, but that's I what we go for. Yes. And next we have, oh, sauerkraut. Mm. Now, that may <laughs> cause a bit of controversy. Some people like it, some people don't. It is fermented cabbage. Now, I'm not really selling that, but <laughs> no. anyway. But you don't have to include You don't have it. to have that. This is just what we put on our hot dog wraps. Next, sliced gherkins. They have to be sliced because big chunky ones are just roll around inside the, <laughs> inside the wrap. Sauces, American mustard or yellow mustard and tomato sauce. Sliced Emmental cheese. Again, you could use different cheese, but we've gone for a sort of Germany or oh, Swiss, I'd like to say, theme with these wraps. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the gherkins, but yeah. And the wraps themselves. Da -da! And so there we are. There's not many ingredients, there's no fresh ingredients. They're all <laughs> jars. Sauces, preservatives of all kinds. Quick tea. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Yes, it's a quick, easy, trashy tea. <laughs> so now we will go over to the hob to assemble. Here we go then. It's time to do this really, really difficult cut. One of the most challenging you'll ever do. It's so, so difficult. You won't believe it. Not. Come down here. So, we've just had these on just to warm through for about, you know, like five minutes or so. Yeah. Just on a little, you know, like number two. Come back over here. I've got the pan on, uh, do you know, nice and warm, just on a medium heat like that, because we want to put the wraps in there to toast them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, toast, fry, whatever you want to do. So here is my assembly station. Dun, dun, dun. Right, so to put these together, yes. so what we're going to do is, you need to be over here, there's no going in that pan yet, because look, there's no, look, there's no, no, no. There must be a reason you'd warmed it up. Hold on a bit, let's just put this in, oh, come on, let's cook it. Right, <laughs> here's the reason, because I'm going to assemble. Oh yes, because you've yeah. to assemble first. Yeah, yeah, so, start off with, put the wrap down on there, and then I send a little station, so I'm going to get my hot dogs, I'm going to bring... Ooh, I'm just going to put one there, oops, don't mind that, yeah, all you've got there is my arm. I know, I yeah, was yeah. waiting I, for I, it to I, fly I, past, but you just did it too quick there. All oh, right, okay. Now, with these, they're a little bit too big to fold over on the side, so what we always do is just chop a little bit off the top. There's not quite a lot there. It's not quite a lot. See, yeah. I would have done it from both ends, but that's just Yeah, me. but that's just true. I'll do it from both ends next time. Okay. And then the arrangement. So first, ooh, we're going to get on. Mm. Oh, missed that bit at the top. Oh, nice bit of tomato sauce. As I said, this is just an idea, and you can put whatever fillings in that uh, you want. But this is what we're going for. Nice bit of yellow mustard. Mm. Oh, look at them lovely colours. Then, perfect. Then, oh, what is it next? Oh no, sorry. Well, I don't know. You're doing. I don't know. I'm doing them, and I forgot. So, Emmental. Mm -hmm. Then, said hot dogs on there. 
Then I'm just going to get some of these lovely, lovely pickles. That's going to give them a little bit of a drain first on there because I don't want too much moisture because there's going to be loads in the sauerkraut. So just a little bit of a little bit of a drain that side, that side. You see? Yeah. Oh, that side. Just drain them off, and then we'll get these on. Look at that on the diagonal. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh! And look at that opposite ends on the diagonal. Oh. Yeah. On this side, look at that. I know. Perfect. Now we'll get the sauerkraut on. Mm. Yes, it's quite a. Um, it's quite an acquired taste. Yeah, you'll open the jar if you bother buying one <laughs> and, and smell it and think. Oh. Uh, but. Uh, well, this came from you, really, isn't it? Because yeah. you've been to Austria loads, so you've uh, no, eaten like, quite a lot of it. Yes, quite a lot. You introduced me to it. I'm not accustomed. I did. I said, hello, Mr. Sauerkraut. Hello. <laughs> this is my man. Yes. And he would like to try you. Right. Mm -mm -mm. So this is the little bit of a difficult bit. So pull it in at the sides. Don't matter if yeah. it gets anywhere. Yeah, yeah, this is where you get... It's all splurging. Oh, you get all your splurging. Don't worry about a bit of splurging. Yeah, put it in on the sides and then... You get it pressed down on there. So that'll just nicely cook and start to seal that edging. Now, we have done these before and they do sometimes come apart. But it's just, it's just, just how it is. It's just tough, is what it's just, it's, there. Yeah, it's, it's just, just, it's tough. just tough. Because sometimes they don't fold them in enough. Because uh, there's quite a lot of filling in there when you think about there it. There is, yeah, don't mess about with it. Not like that, so. It's, a little, yeah, yeah. it's a little bit coming out. So we'll just leave that. I'm just going to go that a little bit higher. I don't think it is. I think that's where it's splurged out before and you put yeah, your right. mustard it's fingerprints all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, next one. While, right. That's, uh, while that's cooking. I'm just going to have one of these. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm. That's it. You enjoy yourself. Can we come back to, oh, yeah. Sorry. to over Sorry. here? Yeah. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, busy eating that little little end. Sausage. Mm. Right, so I'm gonna bit just drip that. Ding 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 little ding 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 for people who don't know. That's green Jill. They always like somebody came in with sausage, weren't they? On credits. Yeah, it sort of came across horizontal though. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's it. There we go. Yeah, I'll just drip water. Right, so we'll take the ends off again. This time we'll do it like that because somebody moaned. Oh, let me see if you've oh. <laughs> oh, flying. Yeah. So what's yeah. next then? Come on. So next you put your tomato sauce. Oops. Yeah, tomato sauce on. <laughs> And then we just check on this. Work of art. Oh, it's just starting to toast. I just need to Good. go a little bit higher. I think I'll be pan hot, hot enough there. Sir. So, yeah. Nice mustard. Yeah. Now, when I said yellow mustard, obviously English mustard is yellow, but you don't <laughs> really want to be popping that on because Ooh, that no. would be a different flavor, unless you like it fiery Very hot. Fiery, fiery hot, yeah. With the cheese. Cheese. With the holes. Yeah. And the Bockwurst, hot dogs, frankfurters, whatever. Yeah, now I'll just do the do pickles again. Oh, there's even more little ends there. Oh, Mr. No, get off it, get off them little ends. Yeah. Oh, Bring them down. oh, I'm just swapping all forks now. I've just lost the plot. That's it, you're taking me ends. You're, are you just focused on them now? Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, that's it, you just eat. Don't, don't worry about filming, you no. just, no, you just eat. I'm just eating. Yeah, all right, back over here. Let's get them on the diagonal again. Is there any reason or is it just because you like pretty patterns? No, because if I put them straight, I won't get all the way across like that, you see. And then when I fold it, I won't get that bit splurging out. Because I, yeah. I can go straight, you can do it like that. You can do it like that. We'll do it like that this time then. There we go, we'll do it straight. Don't blame me if it all goes wrong now. Oh, well, you demanded it like that. I didn't, I just asked why. Demanded. Why? Demanded. Like demanded. So I'm just keeping an eye on on the wrap as well, that's already in there. Demanded it was like that. Mm. So, by, by the way, we're going to make four of these, but we're not going to show you all four. Because they're all identical. <laughs> yeah. Apart from where the gherkins go. Yeah, that's it. So, that there. Mm. yeah, that's it. Just, let's just have a look if it's 
Oh, so oh there it's we definitely go. toasted. Yeah, so it's definitely starting to toast. So what I sometimes do now is I just put that you just on the balance side. Balance it. Balance it on the side. Because okay. what we want to do is we want to toast it all the way, all the way around. Let's watch this intricate manoeuvre again. There we go. Oh, that looks better this time. Yeah. Tuck that in. That's it. Yeah, let's make sure that that's tucked in. Yeah. As I say, there's a lot, there's a lot in here. And tuck them, just, uh, just let me just tuck that end in again. That's all right. Done. And get that in there. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm, I'll just have an end. Okay. Right. So the idea is you keep taking them. Well, I need to now. I can't speak. Sorry. <laughs> You turn them round so you've got this one on its side now and then yeah. you flip it onto the opposite side to the yeah to the crease so to speak and yeah. then turn it all the way around yeah and just keep going and then we've got over there we've got uh, a baking a tray. tray just while you do the other ones or if you've got a spare frying pan you can do all four at once but i'm just going to put them in the oven to keep warm while while we finish them off so let's have a look at that side so toasting up nicely so Perfect. over there now, flip it, flip it real good. So that one's toasting because the, the pan is a bit hotter. So that one, you know, like medium, medium hot, but don't have it too hot. Otherwise you're going to scorch these and burn them. So we'll just keep turning them round and around and round. And then we'll show you the, uh, the finished product. Once we've done all four, slice it in half, show you the inside. And uh, then that'll be it. Simple as. Time to eat. Yay. Yep. So we'll see you when we've made them all. Yeah. Right, they've all been cooked, they've all been kept nice and warm in the oven. Oh, I can see somebody's looking at them, getting very, very hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've done all the four of them. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the wraps as well, so we folded it, like went a bit funny on the end. So what I had to do as well, if that ever happens is I just sealed the ends of the, that's me sealing the ends of- I was just wondering what that was. <laughs> yeah, it's me sealing the, uh, the ends of the wrap in the frying pan first before doing the seal bit and then flipping it over. So let's have a look at some more that's come out. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. So you can see they're all nicely toasted. This was the first one, which more of a square wrap. Right? More square. More square yeah. because that's because I pressed it a little bit on the edges, but you know, you get them different. different yeah. I mean, off. that one's a bit square as well. Yeah, yeah. But... Sorry, I just burnt my fingers. It's still a bit warm. But again, just did them in that, that order. This is the one with, oh, I'm all right now. No, just where I just sealed the, yeah. sealed the ends, you know, like on both of them. So yeah. let's put it down here. Let's cut it. Let's have a look inside. Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah, so that's it. Oh, there we go. You can see it better that's now. That's better. So I like to cut it on the diagonal. So I'm just gonna, ooh. Ooh. Right, and then, mm. there, oh, look, at <laughs> look at that. Yeah, mm -mm. Mm -mm. All nicely sealed, all lovely, all laid up. Let's look at the other side. Oh, look at that, both of them together. Yeah. So you can see, it uh, all stays nice and in tight. And these, uh, we'll be having these, we've got them, uh, we're cooking them at the minute. We'll be having these with some dirty fries. Mm -mm. Uh, so, oh, I'm just coming up here nice so you can see them. I'm dancing with them. Some dirty fries and some funked up coleslaw. So, there you go. Oh, what we call our hot dog wraps, you know, which are toasted in the pan. And so, you can make them with loads and loads of different fillings. So, I hope you try them nice and quick. You know, like, you know, not the healthiest, but hey, who cares? Hey, so, <laughs> it's Friday. Hey, it's Friday. Friday too. Yeah, so until next time, see you soon. See you soon.